So it's day one, and uh, we are finally in the room. Uh, this was around two o'clock in the afternoon or something. Um, another thing that they're very strict on is letting you into the rooms, apparently. Uh, opening, e even opening those hallways. They had the doors where you come down, the, uh, the stairwells, where you go from the stairwells into the hallways to get to the rooms. They had those doors locked and closed, closed and locked until like one o'clock, and they were adamant about, you know, one o'clock. So they'll let you on board at 11, but they won't let you anywhere near the staterooms apparently till about one o'clock. So, you know, you're, you're kind of meant to roam the public areas of the ship and just, you know, go get something to eat. Uh, you do have to watch the wind jammer and stuff because most people are going to go straight for the wind jammer and, you know, get something to eat as soon as they get on the ship. So depending on what time you get to the port, what time you get to the ship, you may or may not have a line waiting to get into the wind jammer. And uh, we also noticed that the wind jammer on this cruise is starting to really push the whole, you know, if you're finished with your meal, you know, please uh, leave so that, you know, other people can, can enjoy the wind jammer too, you know, in a much nicer way, but you, you kind of get the point. And I don't remember them ever really doing that before. So, um, but you definitely have to watch out for the wind jammer getting lunch on the first day, depending on what time you get on the ship. And they're, they're adamant about the one o'clock. And, um, but you know, the room, this is a typical ocean view balcony and, uh, you know, it's a nice room. It's what we usually get when we go on one of these cruises. And when we first started off, we would do the interior stateroom and now we just uh, pretty much get the ocean view balcony every time. And uh, to us, it's worth it. Here we are in port. Carnival Liberty closest to us there. In the back over there behind him is another carnival and I can't see the name of it. That's probably looks like it could be a military ship. They basically just kind of pull us out and then straight that way. Yeah, so looking around the port here. Um, it's an uh, industrial port, so there's not much to see. It's about to head up on deck here. It's a, uh, looking at the solarium, that's kind of a cool area. This huge parking lot over here, and I don't know what the deal is with this, because there's the garage that we parked in, and I guess that's just maybe, I don't know what it is, overflow parking, I don't know. We're just uh, kind of milling around up on deck. This was about 4 o'clock, 3.30, somewhere around there. One thing I really did not like about the way they did this is how they did the muster drill because there's so many people in here. They don't make you try to wear the stupid life vest. Um, you pretty much just go to the dining room. But even then, there's it's there's just so many people. It takes a while to get everybody into the dining room and to get to back out of the dining room. And all they really do is have you watch this really goofy instructional, quote unquote, video about safety on the ship and so on. And the captain comes on and he talks about the, you know, the, the seven whistles, the emergency whistle, whatever, whatever. But the problem I have with it is they don't leave any time for you to actually get out of the muster drill and back up on deck for when you actually start to leave. And it's incredibly annoying because on previous cruises, we've never had a problem with that. There was always plenty of time to get out of the muster drill and go up on deck and be up on deck when you're blowing the horn and starting to pull away and just, you know, not in this case. And, um, I was a little irritated by that because by the time we finally got up there and you'll see that in the next video basically in you know part two here because this is part one but by the time we get up there we're already moving it's uh, me trying to do some instructional navigation
so it's early enough right now that most people are just kind of milling around in the public areas of the ship but uh, later on after the mustard drill this whole upper deck of course is packed everybody wants to be on, on deck when we go to leave and of course I wanted to be up there too so So we're still just kind of making our way around the ship, just checking everything out, and uh, of course constantly rolling video. And in a minute we're going to come around the corner here and we're going to see the, uh, the band playing. deck here and uh, check it out again up on deck 16. There's me with my fancy new uh, rig from my cell phone capturing some video there. You'll see that in part two. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and get notified when I post new videos.